raise your hand if you are watching her rotate in a clockwise direction. Okay? Can you put your hand up now if you are watching her rotating in an anti-clockwise direction? Okay, can you put your hand up if you've seen her rotating in both directions? And how many people can't see her moving at all? Ah, you laugh. Well, let me tell you what's going on here. And you can find this on the, on the web. So you can experiment with it yourself. If you haven't seen her rotating in both directions, take your focus from the head down to the heel of the foot that appears to go close to the floor here and then bring your focus back up and that may actually trigger a change in direction. What's actually happening here? Our optic nerves are linked to both sides of our brain. But only one side of our brain can feed information into our conscious mind at any given moment. So when we are seeing her rotating in a clockwise direction, at that given moment, it is the left side of the brain that is in the dominant role. If we are watching her rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, then that is the right side of the brain that's in the dominant role. Now, if I was to conduct this experiment in, the, in any random high street, the vast majority of people today would swear blind that they can only see her rotating in a clockwise direction. And anything else, any other suggestion is just outrageous because they can only see her rotating in a clockwise direction. And that's because the vast majority of people have been programmed to operate primarily within their left brain. And the right brain has effectively been shut down. And that's what we're going to explore as we go, uh, go through the, uh, the course of the evening. If you can't see her moving at all, there wasn't anybody that put their hand up, was there? 